Today, I like to talk about important subject, which many people are not clear. What is earned income or active income, and what is non-earned income or passive income? There are two the major differences between these two. So what is earned income or active income is what you receive from your employment, from operation of your business, from commission, from tips, something that you put efforts on that and you receive it. Another one is uh, non-earned income or passive income, which you put minimal effort on that. And that is like a rental income, money you put in bank, interest income, debit income, selling your stocks, those are the unearned income. So what are the major differences? When you're receiving an earned income, you are going to receiving 1099 NEC, which is uh, pretty much a new form they've been uh, having for the last two years. And then when, when you're receiving uh, 1099 miscellaneous, INT, dividend, R, S, B. Those are for unearned income. So <clears throat> for those that they're receiving uh, uh, 1099 uh, NEC, uh, you put all of your 1099 NEC from your earned income. And then after deducting all of your expenses, whatever remains, on the net of that, you are going to pay income tax, federal and state, and also social security tax, which is total of 15.3%, which is 12.4% is for the social security, 2.9% is for Medicare. But there is a threshold on the uh, total amount of social security that you are going to be paying over 160,200 <clears throat> is for 2023 and for year 2024 is 168,600. So it means above that threshold, you are not going to be paying any social security of 12.9%. Only you will pay on all of the income, earned income, 2.4% unlimited uh, Medicare taxes. But on the, the earn, on, on earned income, uh, you do not pay social security taxes, only income taxes, federal and the state. So these are two major issues that you have to be considering. If you're having earned income, then you, when you're receiving 1099 NEC, if you are individual, you are going to put it under your um, Schedule C of your 1040. But if you are uh, having a business entity such as corporation, SC, LLC, and so forth, you are going to put it all of them into your uh, income of the uh, earned income of your. Uh, entity and then after deducting all the expenses then that treated different is not going to be all social security you pay salary for yourself on the s corporation or c corporation and the remaining that it will be distribution on k1 which is not subject to this uh, social security because you are paying a reasonable compensation for yourself on the uh, corporation for your earned income. So these are important uh, issues that uh, I thought uh, to clarify because many people asking me. Thank you very much. Shara Tadayun. Happy holiday.